can make all that wind. Hello, Dad. Is this yours? I'll say it's time. We've all got the wind up. I've got a surprise for you. A surprise! This is the Honourable Hugh Montmorency Ralston. <laughs> the young chap from England you were looking for. <laughs> well, well. How are you, Montmorency? <laughs> Toughing. But look here, call me Monty, will you? You know, I never could bear Montmorency. <laughs> I haven't seen him since he was a little kid. Really? Don't you think he's improved, sir? I've broken him with the habit of biting his fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> will you stop it, sir? Oh, I'm no. sorry. That's all right, Thompson. Hello, Sir Charles. How are you? Plenty, thanks, Barry. How Let me you? introduce you. Mrs. McBride. How do you do, Sir Charles? Miss McBride. How do you do? How do you do? The Honourable Montmorency Ralston. How do you do, Sir Charles? How do you do, Mr. Ralston? Mr. McBride and Mr. Thompson. Charles? How do you do, Mr. McBride? How do you do, Sir Charles? Well, what about bringing your friends up on the old bus, Padre? And we'll have a look at Sydney from the air. Oh, jolly good idea. No, no, no funny business, you know. No, no loop in the loop. <laughs> or flying across the Pacific or to England or up in the moon once you get us on board. <laughs> I've heard about you, you know. <laughs> oh, well, come along anyway. Feels like home, Tommy. Yes, rather. <laughs> I'm afraid you can't work in the machine, folks. Right, I said, Charles. Oh, empty that, eh? No cigarettes or pipes in the plane, eh? Happy, isn't it? You know, they uh, they carry a lot of liquor aboard. Aye? Oh, I don't believe it. They do. Didn't you read about Sir Charles flying blind across the Tasman? <laughs> <laughs> well, that only goes to prove what a marvellous man he is. <laughs> There's a bird's eye view of Sydney for you. Oh, a marvellous sight birds have. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy a stork picking out a maternity home from this height. Uh, oh, Thompson? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs>